Hi everyone, this is Stephanie Manley with copycat.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of Cracker Barrel's most requested side dishes, and that is for their dumplings. Now their dumplings don't actually have meat in them, so it's just straight up dumplings, but we're gonna make a delicious sauce, and we are gonna use something called soup base. And if you've never used soup base before, it's sold in your grocery store right next to the bouillon. This simply has a better flavor with less salt. So I think this is a great choice to make our dumplings. So let me show you how to make the dumplings. So we're gonna go ahead and start mixing our dumplings now. Please click on the description box down below to get the exact amounts here. I have a couple of cups of flour in here. Now I'm going to add my baking powder and salt. We add baking powder so they have a little bit of lift because if you don't, you're gonna have very hard biscuits that won't be very good at all. We're gonna add our salt now. I'm gonna add my vegetable oil and my milk. We're just gonna stir this together to make a nice dough. Okay, so we're gonna turn our dough onto our mixing board. And my dough's a little bit sticky, so I'm just going to go ahead and mix in a little bit of flour with this. You wanna add just enough flour to where it's not sticking to your hands anymore. Don't add any extra flour. If you add more flour, it just makes them a little bit tough. So add as little as possible. So I think this is great right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick a little flour on my rolling pin. And now I'm gonna just go ahead and roll out my dumplings. Now I have a French rolling pin. If you have the other kind, that's great too. This just happens to be the kind that I have. So we're just gonna roll these out. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut our dumplings. And all you need to do is take a knife and just kinda rub this along your board. And the Cracker Barrels are kind of square shaped, so just go ahead and make them into square shapes. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cook these in our liquid. So now we're gonna go ahead and cook up our dumplings. And I'm gonna add a couple of teaspoons of the soup base to the pot. This will make the dumplings taste extra good because they're gonna be cooking in seasoned water so they will pick up the flavors of the seasoning. You really want it, you can probably do this with chicken stock or chicken broth. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and add in our dumplings. And we're gonna cook them as long as it'll take for them to float. It's gonna take a couple of minutes. You're gonna do these in small batches. And then we're gonna pull them out and we're gonna bake more dumplings. So now it's time to go ahead and make the sauce to go with the dumplings because as you know, Cracker Barrel really just serves these as a side dish. So to make a sauce, we're just going to put some butter into a pot over kind of medium heat. We're gonna melt it and we're gonna go ahead and add our flour. Now again, click in the description box below the recipe here for the exact ingredients and instructions. So we're gonna put our flour in here and we're gonna make a roux. So we're just gonna let this melt together and it's gonna form a paste. And we wanna let it cook for a moment or two. We wanna wait till it begins to smell something like pie crust. We need to cook this just to make sure that the flour doesn't taste raw. So it's really important to let this cook for a moment or two. All right, so now we can go ahead and start adding in our liquid. Now, our first addition of liquid is some milk. 
because you know the sauce is nice and creamy. So we're gonna add in our milk. I'm gonna add in about half of the one cup of milk and we're just gonna stir this until it becomes a uniform thick mixture and then we're going to go ahead and add in the rest of our milk. Okay, you can see that it's become thick. Now we're gonna add in the remainder of our milk. Just gonna blend this in. My recipe has a little bit of sugar in it. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit more of the soup base so it has a really nice flavor. So I'm not gonna add salt at this time. I'm gonna stir that in to where, again, it gets nice and thick. Okay, so this has become thick again, and now I'm going to go ahead and add some of the water that the dumplings cooked in to thin it out. So we're gonna add about a cup or so of this, and we're gonna stir that in. It'll begin to thicken, and then we'll get ready to stick our dumplings in. Okay, so our sauce is done, our dumplings are done. Now before we serve this, we're simply gonna ladle on some of that wonderful sauce that we've just made. And here you go, we have the cracker barrel dumplings. Now again, if you have some chicken on hand, you can go ahead and put that in, cooked chicken that is, and add this in to make a meal. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up here on YouTube and drop me a comment in the box down below and let me know what recipe you'd like to see next. And be sure to subscribe so you can see what's coming up next because we've got lots more videos coming up here on Copycat Recipes.